Okay. Welcome to the practical today. Today we are going to learn how to disassemble a computer system. So that is what we are going to learn. We have a computer here on this table and we are going to disassemble it completely. Now to disassemble a computer system requires uh, some steps that should be followed. And that is what we are going to learn and we are going to demonstrate that using this system unit that we have here. Now we can follow the following steps to disassemble a computer system. First of all, we need to power off. Power off and remove all the cables. Remove the cables. Then um, we Disconnect mouse and keyboard. We disconnect mouse and keyboard. All right. So after disconnecting mouse and keyboard, then the next thing is to open the case. Uh, uh, first of all, we remove the screws and open the case. Remove the screw screws. Remove the screws. And open the case. Open the case. Okay. Open the case. Now, after opening the case, then we need to remove the internal cables. Remove uh, all the cables. Remove uh, the SATA cables. SATA cables for SATA power and uh, data cable and data cables. All right. Then we remove the hard drive. Remove the hard drive. All right. After removing the hard drive, we remove the optical drive. Optical drive. That is the DVD drive. Optical drive. Then we remove the adapter card. Remove adapter card if present. After removing the adapter card, then we remove the power supply units and then remove the front panel connectors. Remove the power supply units. Power supply units. After removing the power supply unit, then we remove the front panel connectors. Front panel connectors. Then we now remove the RAM. Remove RAM. And lastly, we unscrew and remove the motherboard. Unscrew and remove the motherboard. I remove the motherboard. So these are the things, these are the steps to be taken in the, uh, disassembling the computer system. And that's what we are going to do right now. So we have the computer system, these are the tools here. We have the multimeter, we have a set of screwdrivers. Those are the things we are going to use. Now, first of all, we want to unpower the system, turn off the power from the socket, that's first step. Then, we remove all the external cables, likewise the data cable, we remove it. So, we remove the, the cables, then we remove the keyboard and mouse. Alright, after doing that, we now want to uh, unscrew the case. This is the screw for the case, which you can actually use your hand to unscrew or use it whatever as the case may be. Uh, so if you want to do that now, let's, let's use a screwdriver for that. Okay. 
after removing the screw, then you want to open this case. So you turn it like this. This is how it will stand. And the case can be removed from here, out like this. You can hold it here and jack it open. Just like this. So that is that. Now, after opening the case now, you need to disconnect the cables, the power cables and the SATA, uh, uh, the data cable. Both the SATA power cable and data cables. So we remove all of them, disconnect them. Alright. Alright, so we begin to disconnect the cables. This is SATA data cable. This is SATA power cable. I disconnected it from the hard drive. Then we go down here. Remove the power cable from the motherboard. There is a hook that you must open to actually unlock the cable. Alright, this is the hook. This hook here, you need to unlock it to actually disconnect it from the motherboard. And also this smaller one has a hook, this is the hook here, you press it like this to open it, press it like this, open it, then you unlock it, alright, we have the other ones, okay, Okay, so having done that, we can remove the power supply unit. The power supply unit can be removed uh, by screwing it. You can also remove the optical drive, you can remove the hard drive. The hard drive is here. So we can remove the hard drive by loosening the screws here. The screws. One, two, three. By screwing them, you can bring out the hard drive. Okay. So the three screws have been removed now. We have them here, so we can remove the hard drive from here. Here is the hard drive. So now we want to remove the power supply unit. Power supply unit also has screws at the back of the computer. These four screws: one, two, three, four. So we're going to unscrew them and then bring the power supply unit out. Okay. okay, this is the screw, the better one, the bigger mounted. Uh, flat in the screwdriver. So you remove all the screws and you jack open the power supply unit from the, uh, from the, the its position. It's you know, slotted in into some metal. So you jack it out like this and open it. Okay, there is a metal holding it down here that we can press before we jack it. This is the power supply.
multiply units and then that is what brings power to the entire system uh, this particular one is uh, having uh, is using a voltage of uh, 110 volts to 230 volts either one and then if it is using 230 volts it draws a current of 4 ampere for 110 volts it draws a current of 8 amperes uh, 50 to 60 hertz so this is the power supply unit you can see there's a fan inside it that cools the power supply unit okay next we want to remove the optical drive this is the optical drive which is the dvd drive in this case so we remove these two screws so i'll try to bring out the optical drive also So the optical drive two can be removed now, but then uh, we actually we actually need to open the front panel to do that. So, so this front panel here can be removed can be removed by opening this plastic hook here. I prise it open, then you can actually get it out. like this okay so you can bring out the the optical drive with the DVD drive right here that is it so this is the DVD drive so now you want to remove the RAM the RAM is still on the motherboard so Remove the RAM, we unlock it, we unlock it, then we bring out the RAM. Here is the RAM. We handle it carefully in order not to spoil it. So the last part is to bring out the, the motherboard. The motherboard is still intact. The motherboard is still intact in the in the uh, case. So first we want to disconnect uh, every other thing including the case fan so to bring out the motherboard we have to unscrew the screws holding it down we have one two one two three four five six six screws so we we'll unscrew them bring all of them out and then bring out the motherboard So we have removed all the screws. Okay, remove one here, remove one towards the middle. All right. So we can have a look at the motherboard. Here is the motherboard. You can see it. And then the other components are attached to the motherboard, such as the the processor and the heat sink and fan. The heat sink here, the fan, and they are installed directly on top of the processor. In order to review the processor, we need to remove the heat sink and fan. So, and that's what we are going to do. Now, at the back of the motherboard, we have certain supports called stand ups. Look at this, this. This, they are the supports, and they are called standups. They don't allow the 
electrical parts of the motherboard to touch the casing in order not to cause electrical damage to the motherboard and its components. So right here, we want to uh, bring out the heat sink and fan. To remove the heat sink and fan, we bring out the four screws here that hold the two of them together. Now let's disconnect the fan from the uh, motherboard. This is the connector. Right, so we can bring out the heat sink and fan. All right, so we remove the screws on top of the heat sink and fan to bring out the two parts. Then we reveal the uh, the uh, processor, the CPU. Okay, this is the heat sink and fan together. If you want to remove the fan alone, we have four screws here. One, two, three, four. So you can see these smaller screws. One is here, another one's here. One each at the four corners. So we have that. Now here is the processor socket, and the processor is down here. I do not want to touch it with my hand in order not to spoil it because this is a working computer. So to unlock it, you open the processor socket right from here, like this. Then you can bring out the processor. Here is the processor. Here is the processor. So by that, we have been able to uh, disassemble the whole computer system. Now you realize now that the case is a separate component of the computer unit. The case is a separate component. We have several other components here, such as the heat sink and fan together, the processor, the optical drive, the front panel, we have the hard drive, we have the motherboard. Here we have the power supply units, we have the RAM, these are various parts of the computer and the case itself is what we have here, this is the case, that is also a separate component in the whole system. Now if you want to learn how to assemble a computer, I put a link down in the description of this video, just click the link to learn how to assemble a computer system. So that is it. We have completed the disassembling of the computer. To learn how to assemble a computer, click on the link in the description to watch the video. A link in the description to that video so that you can watch it. There are the various parts here that we have disassembled. And then in the other video, we learn how to assemble it to form a computer unit. Thank you for watching. If you have not subscribed, please do click on the subscribe button and smash the notification bell in order to be notified when next I upload another video. Don't forget to like and make up the comments and share the video. See you in the next video.